Hi, I'm Kevin Ray from Peterbrook Chocolatier here in beautiful Winter Park, Florida. And today, we're gonna to teach you how to make a chocolate cherry truffle dessert recipe. This is actually very simple. To make our truffles, we're gonna start off with eight ounces of chopped semi-sweet chocolate, some maraschino cherries, and a third cup of heavy whipping cream. To make our ganache, we're gonna scald our cream. And all that really means is just bringing it to a very light boil, just until you barely start to see bubbles come up. The easiest way to do that is in the microwave. We're gonna put that in for about 30 seconds and check it. Uh, if you don't see little bubbles coming up, put it in for about 10 more seconds and keep going. Okay, we've got our scalded cream. And again, that's not burnt. It's just barely starting to boil. We're gonna take our eight ounces of dark semi-sweet chocolate, and we're just gonna gently pour the cream over and give it a chance to melt. Once we poured the cream on, you just wanna tap down your chocolate so it's all covered and let it sit for about five minutes to melt. It's been about five minutes. You can see the chocolate's pretty well melted and we're gonna just start stirring this in so we get a nice creamy smooth consistency. Okay, while the ganache is setting up, this is a great time to go ahead and chop our cherries. I'm just gonna remove the stems and chop them into about a medium dice. So we're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of cherries to our ganache mixture and stir it in. Now you can always add more or less depending on your taste. Once this is well incorporated, we're gonna put it back into the fridge for about an hour to set up. Now that we have our ganache set, we're ready to make our truffles. We're gonna go ahead and use a melon baller or another similar scoop. And portion out a little ball of chocolate. If it's not perfectly round, that's okay. We're gonna come back and round them out more later. And then I'm just gonna roll them into little, little spheres. Now that we have the size and shape right, we're gonna go ahead and dust them in our cocoa powder and put them in all together. Stir them around to get a good coat. And use your fingers to sift off the excess. And lay them back out on parchment. Now these are some fantastic truffles. Mm -hmm.